Hey everyone, welcome back to the Pokemon Casino. Today we got two boxes of Incandescent Arcana from 2022, bringing it back almost a year ago. Let's see what amazing cards are gonna be in these two boxes. All right guys, we got two boxes of Incandescent Arcana S11. A, this was the third last set to come out for Sword and Shield. But as you may be able to see, they're not the same language. So actually I got one Japanese and one Thai box that we're gonna be opening up. When I went to Bangkok, I picked this one up, it's still sealed. So we're gonna be cracking these ones open and seeing which is the better language, which is the better hits. Um, but before we do that, make sure you click that subscribe button, you click that like button and leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about this set right now. If you're buying one of these booster boxes in Japanese, it's gonna set you back around 70 bucks around, give or take. Uh, and the great thing about Taiwan's is that it's gonna be MSRP. So probably about 30, $40, I would say. Uh, they don't ha hike up the prices, which is great. Um, but let's get cracking at it and let's see what we got. We're going to get this one open first, which is the Japanese one. So this one was actually purchased from Japan directly and it was actually unwrapped. So it was someone that went to buy it at the store and they got it like that. They had to remove the shrink and that's something I definitely don't recommend anyone else do uh, because of all the shady characters out there right now. And so you might just get taken advantage of. So I got these ones a while back. Uh, probably good uh, at least half a year ago. So, oh, I forgot they're a hollow uh, Pokeball hollow. So this reminds me of like 151, which I still need like four Pokeball hollows to complete the set. But like I was saying, I would not recommend buying boxes like this right now because everyone is, not everyone, I shouldn't say everyone, I can't say everyone. There are a lot of scammers out there uh, repacking boxes, not even with Pokemon cards. It's possible with boxes like this that you, or that someone has basically gone through the boxes uh, and then once they get the, the hit, they just replace them with other packs. Oh, here we go, a Jirachi Radiant. I forgot that was in here. Um, I forgot there was Radiant cards in here. So a very nice Jirachi Radiant card. No one to get in here. I'm sure you guys all know. It's Serena. It's the only one I really value and the one I'll sort of give you back the value on this box. Uh, and you need the full art version, not even the hyper rare. So there is a rainbow rare version as well. Oh, um, we got the, the sort of a star Pokemon, as you can see on the box. You got Alolan Vulpix, uh, but you definitely want that Serena card. And that one is going by how much right now? It's, it's, it's a pretty penny actually. It's a couple hundred dollars, I would say. It's like $250, $300 for that. And what do we got here? Oh, whoa, we got a V Max, a V Star, Alolan Vulpix as well, and an Alolan Vulpix V. So double hits there. Whoa, and we got a Gardevoir. We got a Gardevoir CHR as well. We got triple hits in this box. Has this ever happened? Is this normal? I, for I haven't opened up this set in so long, basically since it got released. Um, and as you can recall, I bought four boxes, two for myself, two for my buddy. I got duds in all of mine. Uh, and my buddy pulled two Serenas, full arts, from the two boxes that he got. Uh, and he gifted me one uh, of those ones. So I got that in my binder, not gonna be selling it, uh, but I was really generous of him to do so. And he got a nice Kyogre and another beautiful Pokeball Hollows. Pokeball Hollows are really great. I still don't like how they did Master Ball Hollows for the 151. This makes it incredibly hard to collect. It makes everything like go up in price for that set as well. A nice Scyther over there. Um, but yeah, I just didn't like how they did that. We got a nice Reshiram. Oh, we got a Serena uh, Pokeball Hollow as well. Very nice. We got a nice Reshiram. We'll add that to the back. I forgot there were CHRs. So there are CHRs in this set as well. And there are two CSRs. Uh, but like I said, you want that Serena card basically. One of the CSRs is good with the Survivor. I think that one's gonna be all right. And then there is a Serena 
uh, CHR as well, I believe. And there is also an Altaria that over the past few months when things were going crazy in Japan, that one I think went up to quite a bit. And I do believe that one has come back down to earth now. Uh, but it's still like probably, what, 20, 30 bucks? So it's still not a cheap one. These are really weird looking drinks. Uh, so it had some, yeah, it was pretty crazy back then, uh, thinking about it, uh, how those cards, but I think that one has definitely come down now. So I believe this box probably has come down in price as well, but still $70 for this one, which is still cheaper, than, obviously, than like the most recent ones that have been released. Uh, if you think about 151, if you think about Clayburst, um, all of those ones, though we have seen it's like the triple beat, those ones come down just because people aren't really looking for those cards right now. A nice petal. So there has been a change in demand. And I was talking to one of my local gaming stores in Hong Kong about the most recent set, Ruler of the Black Flame. And so he thought that 151 would go down as people's attention goes to Ruler of the Black Flame because of Charizard. But it hasn't been the case. So I think you can see that Ruler of the Black Flame Flame, the pricing is going down on that uh, currently. So it was, it was pretty expensive. It's still expensive, don't get me wrong. It's still over $100, like $120. But I think people were expecting that to sort of um, sort of be scalped up even more. But it hasn't happened. So 151 actually dipped down a little bit when it was released with people's anticipation that there's going to be less demand for 151 as everyone goes and starts searching for the Charizard. But a lot of those cards have not done well, as you can see from, or if you have watched my previous price check video. If you haven't, I'll definitely link that one to this video uh, and so that you can check out that price check video and how prices sort of reacted or reflected one week after release. I like to do that after one set just to show that prices do tank quite a bit, which is always a lesson to people to hold off we got a nice V card over there. You got a nice energy switch, I believe. Uh, but that's a nice V card. I forget how many CHRs or like CSRs or, or SRs are guaranteed, if any. Obviously, I've moved on to the AR and SCR world now of Scarlet and Violet. So, oh, we got there. This is not the one we wanted. Oh my God. Oh, wow. Okay, so maybe you know what? It's not too hard. To get that set, so we got we got one of four for like Gardevoir and everything like that. Uh, but this is the cheapest CHR, which is a shame because if you look at all that's going on in here, it's just so good. It's so colorful, it's so bright. But the one that you really want is like Altaria uh, and uh, Fennekin uh, because they have like female trainers in that one, in, in those ones with them. So I, maybe we have a chance. We have two CHRs. Maybe we have a chance at one more. Um, that'd be fantastic. Uh, we got our... <sighs> we got our secret rare, which obviously, if you can sound from the disappointment in my voice, is not the one that we wanted. We wanted the Serena. So I am zero for three on Serena from this box now. That is a shame, but hopefully we still have a chance to get one more CHR. I think there's maybe one more chance at a CHR. That's a really nice, actually, that's a great looking Artie. Look at that, I actually didn't get to really enjoy that one before. That's a great looking Artie, and then we've already got a Radiant card, so you get one Radiant card per box. So it seems like even though this pack was like a pre-open, well, not pre-open, but like shrink wrap, not included or not wrapped box. We didn't get screwed over, which is nice. This is a really nice Fennekin. It's always nice when you open it and there is a risk of that, but it hasn't happened. And I think we did open up one of these boxes before and that didn't happen as well. But remember, we still got the tie box. So maybe we can get a tie version of Serena, which would be pretty sick. And we got a Jinx as the last CHR card for Japanese, which is the one that you don't want. You don't want to see Jinx. You don't want to see that um, Smeargle guy. Uh, those are like the cheapest. You definitely want to see Fennekin. And you definitely want to see Altaria. Um, but it's unfortunate that we weren't able to pull those ones. We're going to go last pack. Can we get a double secret box? Last pack magic. Get a Serena in here. 
Is it going to be behind this one? No, it's not. But let's go on to Japanese. So, as you can see, these are the Japanese packs of Incandescent Arcana. And they look basically the exact same as the Japanese ones because they are also printed in Japan. And so let's go through these ones a bit quicker uh, just to see what's inside. Oh, we got like a mirror box. We also got a Rush Ram in here, uh, which is the same as the one that we got in the Japanese box. Wallace, uh, hopefully we don't see Wallace. In our last box, we actually got a Hollow Ball Executor as well. So we're getting some mirror. I guess this set is not that big. There are, what, 68 cards only in the main set. And we got Mawile. We got a Pokeball Hollow, Reverse Hollow. Uh, Switch Energy card, I believe that was. Uh, trainer card. So let's see what we can get. A nice Kyogre, actually. Very nice. But hopefully we get some really... I guess the Serena tie would be really cool. That'd be a really nice one for the binder. Uh, to put out, we got an Alakazam. So our Radiant card is an Alakazam. Which is also in 151, not the Radiant card, but he does have uh, his SAR card. In the most recent, uh, well not the most recent, the second most recent now uh, of, of uh, Scarlet and Violet. So he makes his appearance again as a full card. The good thing about these rating cards is like there's a shiny variant and I love shiny Pokemon as you know. Ooh, no, that's just a hollow card I believe of Mewtwo. Very cool. That's going in the Mewtwo binder. Got a, I got a binder. Well, I got a section of a binder specifically for Mewtwo. I don't have enough actual Mewtwo cards to designate him. Hey, we got Fennekin and Serena. Uh, unfortunately, just a tie version, but that's a cool one to get. That, uh, get got. Uh, that is a really nice one. Look how beautiful it is. Uh, it also has the like, same printing quality, I would think, or standards as the Japanese since it is printed in Japan. Though, when we did open up, my buddy and I opened up VMAX Climax, uh, the Thai version of VMAX, the, the quality was just horrendous, especially compared to the Japanese boxes, even though it is printed in Japan. It was just really bad quality overall. Like. Like you, I thought I, I thought the cards, and I and I feel sorry for the store. Uh, we got the same sort of hit as well. That's not, not the one we want, but we're gonna put that one aside. See if my buddy's interested in it uh, to see to get that one. Oh, we got we got a hit in this box, Ponyard over there. Ooh, uh, yeah, it's always this the snakes survive. Uh, not the one that we want though. Definitely not the not the snake that we're looking for in these boxes. So I don't think there's much of a market for these cards in Asia or just overall outside of Thailand. So to be honest, I don't think there's any Thai card is that is actually like valuable. But it's nice to have the binder. We got a hyper rare card here. Is it Serena Hyper Rare? It is a trainer card hyper rare. Oh my god, what can it be? Please, Serena, 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 Serena! Oh my god, guys! Oh, yes, we did get Serena! But we get the hyper rare. Oh, Serena, what a great hit! I got the Japanese one, I, from what I recall as well, in one of my boxes. Wow, look at that. Look, great texturing. Fantastic looking. Does it have any print errors? I know that the Japanese ones had a bunch of printing uh, problems with it. And you can see the back of the tie cards are the same as English. What a great hit, guys. Really happy. I'm going to be sleeving up all of these cards as well. So don't you worry. They all get protected. What a great hit there. Um, too bad it's not the Japanese ones. We've got Wallace again. With the Melotic. Not the greatest. But uh, hey, that Serena is a great one to get. Uh, again, too bad it's not the full art. Too bad it's not Japanese. There's a lot of too bads, but hey, we gotta be happy for what we got. So we are happy with that one as well. Great hit to get, uh, great way to uh, end this box maybe. But we still got a few more packs. So we're still hunting, I believe, for one more CHR. Oh, maybe we're not. 
Maybe, maybe we're looking for their second secret card. Uh, there is a possibility of that happening still. I believe there's only 20 packs in here. And we got two more packs. So we got one out of two chances that one of these will be secret cards. Oh, we got a hit in this one though. What is it gonna be? Oh, it's a Ho-Oh. Very cool. Very nice looking Ho-Oh uh, tie version. Not too shabby. And then what do we got in our last pack? Nothing special over here, but let's summarize basically what we've got. All right, guys, so we got from the tie, we got Radiant Alakazam. We got Melodic. We got the Painter over here. We got Japanese. We got Serena and Fennekin. And of course, we got Serena Hyper Rare. You don't see Hyper Rares anymore, so there you go. It's a treat. You got Drachi Radiant. You got the really, really weird. Oh, we're going to skip that one. Oh, we already saw this one in tie as well. We got Gardevoir too. And of course, we got our Secret Rare Full Art. If I got to say so, I think that Tie Box definitely takes it home, it definitely wins. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you're not already, please click that subscribe button and uh, join the Pokemon Casino family. If you guys are going to be up in packs, I wish you fantastic RNG. Until the next video, bye bye.